Hi, so I'll give you a moment just to pause the video, have a go at this question if you wish, and then in a few moments I will run through the solution. Okay, so we've got to show that dy by dx then has this form. Now, in order to do this, let's just copy down the question first of all. I'm going to need to use the product rule. And as a brief reminder, you should be familiar with this, that if y equals u times v, where u and v are both functions of x, dy dx equals u times dv dx plus v times du dx. Okay, if you're unsure of this, do check out the links in the description of the video. Um, we've got some tutorials on it or they'll appear at the end of the video. Okay, so uh, let's say we take u as the x and v as the 2x plus 1 to the power 4. Okay, so we've got to start then by having dy by dx. So we've got u, which is going to be the x, and now we've got to do dv dx. We've got to differentiate 2x plus 1 to the power 4 with respect to x. Now in order to do this, you've got to be familiar with the chain rule. And here it is here, that if I've got, say, dv by dx, which I need to find, it's the same as dv by dt times dt by dx. It's as if these two dt's cancel. And again, you'll find a link for tutorials on this if you're unsure in the description. Okay, so what I'd want to do then is let t equal that 2x plus 1. And so therefore, I've got v equaling t to the power 4, 2x plus 1 to the power 4. So when it comes to working out dv by dx, I need to work out dv by dt first of all. So if I differentiate t to the power 4 with respect to t, that's going to be 4 times t to the power 3. I'll put that in brackets for the moment, okay? And then I've got to multiply it by dt by dx. So if I differentiate 2x plus 1 with respect to x, that's going to be 2. Now I've broken that differential down for you here by using the chain rule, but generally you should find that you should be able to differentiate this straight off. If I was doing it, I would think of this then as t to the power 4, differentiate that and I get 4 times t to the power 3. So that's going to be essentially 2x plus 1 raised to the power 3, okay? That's the 4t cubed here. Multiply it by the differential of the thing I nominated to be t, which is the 2x plus 1. Multiply it by the differential and then of that and I get 2. So that's how I would do it in my head without writing this down. And then by the product rule, it's plus, and then we've got the v part, which is the 2x plus 1 to the power 4, and then that is multiplied by du by dx. u is the x, so I differentiate x with respect to x, and you get 1. I'll just put the 1 in there just as a token to show that I differentiated it. So all we need to do now is just tidy this up. And if we tidy this up, you end up with this line here. 8x times 2x plus 1 all cubed for this first term. And then this is just going to be 2x plus 1 all to the power 4. Now, I can pull out 2x plus 1 to the power 3 as a common factor across here. So if I pull out that common factor, I end up with 2x plus 1 all cubed multiplied by this 8x and then the 2x plus 1 again, okay? And so just grouping these terms inside the square bracket, I can see I'm going to get 10x plus 1. So if I simplify that, then I get that line, and you can see it takes on the form that we've got here. So I'd now compare it to that, and by comparing it, I can see that n equals 3, a equals 10, and b equals 1. So I hope that's okay for you if it caused any problems.